Hey YouTube, so I wanted to come on real quick and show you guys my new brushes that I picked up from Michaels. So actually they're paint brushes, but someone was telling me about the low Cornell brush that they use for makeup, raved about it, um, so I wanted to check it out. What I did first was I went on YouTube, typed in low Cornell, I will spell the name for you in the description box in case you've never heard of them. I would have never known. But when I typed in Lil Cornell in YouTube, there were so many reviews from like two and three and four years ago. So I guess I'm just late in the game. So I, but I definitely wanted to share this with you in case you didn't know. These brushes are amazing. And they're very affordable. They have a Maxine, Lil Cornell has a Maxine Mop brush that is compared to many of the MAC brushes and those reviews are on YouTube as well so I wanted to show you my Maxine my brushes first I have three of them and these are by Lil Cornell and it's the two this one is the Maxine my 270 half inch and it's just a, a brush that I've used for my lid this brush picks up color so well it's perfect for packing on it's just the bomb I love 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 this brush and I did notice a difference the brush I was using before I was like okay it's doing its job I can't imagine how another brush can work better but I'm telling you huge huge difference and I love it and this brush was um $3.79 at Michaels this next one is also a $2.70 but it's the fourth inch so it's just a little smaller. So this is really good for getting in the creases. Real, real, real nice brush. $279. And this is called the Maxine Mini Mop. And it's just a lid brush as well. I haven't used this one yet. Real nice soft bristles. The handles on these bris on these brushes are a little longer than your average makeup brush, but that doesn't matter. These next two brushes are the Low Cornell 275. So both of these are 275. This is the one inch, this is the half inch. So the one inch is just a big fluffy powder brush. Oops powder brush oh my gosh it is amazing so all of these brushes I've noticed uh, that I've used of these little Cornell I've noticed a big difference from the brushes that I, were, I was using which was just you know elf brushes um, I had a few that um, the eco tools that I had gotten from Walgreens just kind of beginner brushes for myself but I love 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 these brushes this is the one inch. This is the half inch 275. Good for um, blush, contouring, base color. I mean, you, they're very versatile. Again, the handles are a little longer. The bristles are so soft, you guys. And this brush, oh, I didn't tell you, this was 579. So this was the most expensive one that I purchased. And this one was 379. Very affordable. And then the last two, this is the Large Dome, the 272, the Large Dome, perfect crease brush. It's good for the crease, blending it out. It blends really, really well. I really, really love this brush. I love all of them, the, well, the ones that I've used so far. I haven't used this one, but it's also a dome brush, but it's an angled dome. I don't know if you can see that, but it's slightly angled. So I just got this because I thought it'd be good for also um, blending out color. This was two seventy nine. Did I show y'all my? Some of them fell on the floor. I don't know if I showed y'all all of them. I think so. But anyway, you guys, I just had to share that, pass that information along for anybody who is not familiar. Michaels, I think you can get Low Cornell also at Hobby Lobby. And then probably some other craft stores. You have to check your area if you don't have those two stores. Awesome. Amazing. Very affordable. 
and they just do the job. I thought they were really well. I was really, really, really impressed. So I'm getting ready to go make a little holder for my brushes because I'm running out of room in my other one. So I'm going to make a little um, a brush holder and I may be back with a video on that. Talk to you guys soon. Okay guys, I am back. I've completed, well kind of completed my brush holder. Let me show you. I'm having the hardest time with the bow on here. But anyway, and that's just because my glue won't stick to this ribbon. So I'm going to have to get a different kind of ribbon. But I picked this up, this idea up from Sephora. So if you go into a Sephora, you see how they, they have like these, their brushes are in like these little white crystals. So pretty. But I didn't get the white crystals. I got the brown seashells instead. Just for a different look. And then I have this orange ribbon, which won't stay on here. So I'm going to work with that. But I love how my brushes just stand up. I can get to them easily. I can see them all kind of at a glance. And I have another glass like this. And I'm going to just make another one. Just have two side by side to put the rest of the brushes in. So I won't have to jam them all packed. And then I have a little, this is how much I used of the um, seashells. So, so I think I have enough. And let's see, it's called the Decorative Crush Seashells. Picked them up from Michaels. They're really pretty. And this bag was um, $2.79 for, for two pounds, $2.79. And then the ribbon was a dollar. And this glass, let me tell you, this glass, I love this glass. It's real thick glass. It was $2.99 on sale for $1.99. So I got to get that ribbon on there better than that. So I'll work on that off camera. Just wanted to show you guys my cute little Sephora inspired brush holder. Okay, until next time, guys, rate, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you soon.